Good morning everyone, you join us here again at the Kingfisher. Uh, before we get anywhere, guys please go down, uh, click the like button if you do like it. If you don't like it, click dislike and please guys leave a comment what you want us to change. Uh, it's pointless just getting angry at a video and not telling us how we're going to improve it. So get down there, give us some information, get some feedback, species you want, things like that. Put it down in the comments, we will get to it as soon as we can and get back to you. So really thanks for the comments guys, we really appreciate them. Also, Click the bell icon, gives you notifications, uh, click all and also enable them on your phone if you're using a mobile device. It just lets you know when we put out new videos, gets you right up there. Also subscribe to the channel and to the ASVN channel as well, to Kingfisher channel and you'll get all your updates right to your phone. Today we're going to be talking about, uh, I'm not allowed to swear on this channel, so a mean bastard of a fish. <laughs> we're talking about the thorntail stingray. Now. There have been many words, short, plosive words used to describe them. Uh, normally while someone is with the rod over their shoulder over, after four hours of bending and uh, wanting their mommy. The thorn tail is, the scientific name is Deciatus uh, thetidus. And yeah, there's unfortunately not a lot of scientific research that's been done on the species. It's one of those ones that we got, we got some information about them, but a lot of it's from from catches, from what we've learned from as we're going along. They are they are a big stingray. So it's probably the closest thing we get in case it into your black paleys that are down in the Cape. They get to over two meters in disc width, so that's over 200 kilos. So similar to the to your, your paleys. There's little known about their biology as we've mentioned. You've got an overall sort of brownie colored stingray. Uh, sometimes they have a bit of mottling, sometimes not. And they've got these the, the tail is quite a thick, uh, bulky tail, and they've got spines that run all the way along the tail, but they're not, not long spines, you're talking short little thorns more like, that's where it gets the name thorn tail. They run all the way down the tail and onto the back itself, and obviously either one or two spines on the, the back you need to be careful of. Uh, when you are handling them, you've got two different options, you can either on the smaller species or smaller specimens, you can put it, your, if it's on the sand, you can put your, your shoe over that spike. Obviously if it's on, if it's a big tail, you don't want to step on that because it's going to slip and break off, you don't want that. So then rather use a shirt or a buff or something like that and just wrap it over the tail, over the spike and tie it or not. Then it can't put the spikes up, so it's never going to get you. Uh, the same as all rays, stay away from the spiracles in the front. It is a big ray, so it's very difficult to handle uh, without having your hands in there. But guys, if you can't get it up, rather just cut the trace. He's, you need to get him back in the water as quick as possible. Gaffing obviously not recommended. You're going to tear through the wing. This is not, not, not a good idea. You want to handle them by either the bone in front of the mouth, so in front of the lip, or actually by the mouth itself. Most of them have a very, very big mouth, the ones you're going to be catching. You can actually fit four hands along the mouth. That's how big these mouths are. They do have a strong bite, but obviously if you're pulling them by their mouth, they're not going to be able to bite you with that, that pressure and keep your bodies low when you're pulling them up. You don't want to lift this, these rays up, same as your diamonds. It puts too much pressure on the back because you often see guys holding the diamond up and it's sitting all of its weight on its back like that. It's not, not good for the, for the fish. You, previous to sort of the last two or three years, I would have considered them quite a rare catch, but with us obviously targeting more rays and sharks and things like that, you're catching more and more of them. We've had a huge smash recently in the basin area that uh, Moyo's, what they call the Golden Mile, yeah, in Durban. Uh, the biology, as we said, is not very well known, but a lot of these species, the, the specimens we're catching at the moment have been pregnant. So we can assume that they're coming into this bay area, the more calmer area to pup. And they're releasing quite a large number of pups when they get caught. So these pregnant females, much like the raggies when they're pregnant up at uh, Mapilan and things like that, you don't want to be dragging them onto the hot sand right at the top and pulling them far away from the water. Get them down, get your picture, and get them back as quick as possible. If they do pup, get the pups into the water as well, as quick as possible. Um, that's the future of our sport, so guys, please protect them and look after them. They are, peak abundance is probably around about now, by the look of it, if we go by the catches. Your, your summer time seems to be when you get a lot of them, although we do get them in winter as well. So, like I said, a lot of the stuff, you're not, we're not 100% sure of the exact science behind it or the research behind it is quite quite low at the moment so it's, it's a species that we need to look at tagging of them would be vitally important we can see if they're returning to the same areas year after year to pup or obviously getting caught in the same area year after year and 
yeah, guys, it's a species that should be on your list. It's uh, I've hooked a few. Unfortunately, I haven't landed them due to many, many things. So I'm st he's still on my species list. And yeah, if you guys need, I've got a good chiropractor in Durban North. Uh, we won't do a shout out because you're not paid by them. But uh, yeah, if you do hook him, uh, be in for a bit of pain. Make sure you have water nearby because it could be anything from 10 minutes to five hours. So yeah, be prepared. The thorn tail. Cheers.